Today I'm going to show you how to join crochet pieces. I'm going to show three different techniques that have three very different looks to it. The first one is going to be the mattress stitch. This is a join that is almost invisible. My join is runs right along here and is made in a contrasting yarn color in this green. And as you can see, there's not much that you can see. If you want a little more visible and decorative join, here is the back loop whip stitch that creates this little spiral, uh, beautiful uh, joining technique. Or if you want a even more visible, you can try the slip stitch join, which creates a beautiful braid, braided look to join your crochet pieces. I'm gonna show you how to join these two crochet pieces using the mattress stitch. I have made it two just basic crochet pieces made of half double crochets to demonstrate this, and they are in a light gray color. I'm gonna use this green sage color so that you can see how much of the join you can see when you, it has been completed. For the mattress stitch, you're going to hold your two crochet pieces next to one another. You will always work from the back of your crochet piece towards the front. So I'm gonna begin on the right side and in that very first stitch, I'm gonna bring my yarn from the back to the front, working through the tops of the stitches right here. And just pull that all the way up. And then you're gonna go into the first stitch on your next crochet piece, working from the back to the front. Again, going through the top of both loops of that crochet piece and pulling that tight. Now you're going to continue this repeating back and forth, going from the front or going from the back to the front, working through both loops of the top of the stitch. And then go into the next one from the back to the front, and then to the next piece from the back to the front. And again, from the back to the front. Just alternate this back and forth, going through the top of each stitch. After you've done about four or five stitches, you can see how they're coming together. You're gonna to wanna to pull these tighter. So I just hold the front, the beginning strand of yarn, and then the end, and then just kind of slightly tug on those crochet pieces. And that's gonna pull it tighter together. And then just continue working from the back to the front of both crochet pieces until the entire edge has been joined together. All right, I've got a couple stitches left on each side. Again, I'm still working from the back to the front. And then grabbing that last stitch back to the front. Oops. And the top of the very last stitch on that side, back to front. We're gonna, again, pull this to bring it tighter together. And as you can see, here is your join with the mattress stitch. So the join runs right along here. You can see some of the green thread poking through, but it is almost invisible where that join is right here. The next join is going to be the whip stitch in the back loops only. To begin this, you're also going to use a yarn needle and you're gonna work only in the back loop of these stitches. To do that, it's easiest if you place the wrong sides next to one another and then hold the pieces together. To start this, you're going to work, grab that back loop only of your first piece and then come straight across 
and grab the back loop only of the second crochet piece. And pull your yarn through. Again, working in the back loop only, you're going to bring your yarn over your work, grab only the back loop, and then the back loop only of the next stitch. And pull through. Again, grabbing in back loop only. of the next two stitches and pull through. As you work more and more stitches, okay, I've got about four stitches done. So this is my fifth stitch. And now is a good time to grab both these pieces of yarn and pull to get those stitches tighter together. You're gonna do that every four or five stitches. So again, grabbing just those back loops. One, two. then hold here and pull this yarn there to make it even. I'm going to continue working to the end and we'll pick back up. Okay, I only got a couple stitches left. There's one and two. Again, I've worked it only in the back loops all the way across my row. I'm going to pull those stitches tighter. As you can see, the contrasting color is definitely visible. Now we're going to open these up and as you can see there's a very pretty join. It lays nice and flat but it is visible with this nice twist in the join. If you use the same color it will be invisible and that is what your join will look like. On the back side of your work there is also a slight twist that you will be able to see. This is the whip stitch in the back loops only. The last joining technique I'm going to show you today is the slip stitch, slip stitch join. You're going to use, again, I'm using a contrasting color of yarn. This time you're going to use a crochet hook. So just put your yarn on your hook with a slip stitch. And in this one, we're also only going to work in the back loops only. The first few stitches are gonna be a little bit awkward, but as you work up the edge, it does get easier. Okay, so with our yarn on our hook, we're going to insert into the crochet piece on the right, and we're gonna go into the back loop only of that first stitch. One thing you need to make sure you do when doing a slip stitch join is make sure that this, this is your working, whoops, this is your working yarn, and that needs to stay behind your crochet piece. So just kind of bring that up here. This is your beginning, and that can just kind of be stay down here. So make sure this is on the back side or behind your crochet hook. Now grab that second crochet piece and insert your hook in that back loop only again. Now take your working yarn you're going to yarn over and pull through that loop, go through that second loop and the joining slip stitch. So now the join has started with that slip stitch. Okay, so to continue, now you're going to go back into that back loop only of the next stitch on the right side. And then go into the back loop only of the next stitch on the left crochet piece. Grab your working yarn and pull it through both loops, including, like I said, those first couple are a little tricky, including the loop on your hook for to that completes the second slip stitch. And then you're going to repeat this going up the row. So back loop on the right side, back loop on the left side, yarn over 
and pull through all loops on your hook. Okay, just have a couple left, still grabbing that back loop only. Back loop only, yarn over, and pulling through all loops on your hook. Last one, grabbing that back loop, back loop, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook to complete the row. And I'm just going to kind of loop this through just to finish it off. And as you can see, there is a very beautiful uh, seam that runs up that is very visible on the slip stitch join.